we go. Oh, it's like an announcement. Hello, hello, Team Buzz Babes and Team Lusty Lilies in the same house tonight. How y'all doing? So glad you're here. Uh, I'm gonna keep everybody muted for the next few moments as I go over some wonderful information um, about subscription clubs and what I've done this year to make it successful for myself. And uh, maybe you guys can grab on to some of those tools and start to make this your own. I do have notes, so of course I will be following those. <laughs> uh, and of course, I'm gonna introduce myself. My name is Lawanda Johnson. I have been doing Pure Romance since July 4th of 2009. Uh, I began this as a broke college kid who had a 10 month old at the time and she was being laid off her job and she needed some extra income. And it was just one of those crazy years. And I told myself to try a bunch of different stuff and I did. But the one that really stuck around that people actually came back to buy more goods from and to ask me questions about and got excited the most about was Pure Romance. So that was the company I decided to stay with. So 2010, 2011, 2012. By 2012, we had a million dollar team on Lusty Lilies and I was board of directors because I was that passionate and I was that obsessed. <laughs> if you've ever gotten passionate and obsessed about something, who's with me, you know that you put your all into it because that's your choice, right? So that was me back in, uh, you know, the, the early years. And, uh, and then I did, I had, a, I had a baby boy that almost killed me. I had uh, a broken knee that I had to have surgery on. I had a gallbladder taken out because I lost a bunch of weight and I thought I was a big deal, you know, and woo, long story short, health came into my life and it was a crazy couple of years, but then, uh, and then I made a bounce back, a bounce back. And it was crazy because 2020 was was the first year I actually did over a hundred thousand dollars in sales, you guys. And I thought I would have to go into like a hundred different homes to do that, those, those figures. And I did not. And subscription clubs, I was dabbling in those last year. It did have something to do with my sales and it's definitely helping me this year. And so I'm going to talk about numbers a little bit, but if there's any less lilies in this room, in this house, under this roof, you guys know I'm not a numbers chick, but I'm going to bring forward some actual proof too. You know what I'm saying? So some proof in the pudding as, you know, good old Lizzo said. So uh, that's me in a nutshell. I'm a mom of two. I, I now have a 13 year old. Uh, she was 10 months old at the time when I started. So she's grown up in this business and the guy that almost killed me, he's eight years old now. Um, and he's always making sure I do my push-ups and I stay healthy. He's like, mama, I need you around. So um, besides that, I don't have a car and I haven't had a car in a year. And people think that's nuts that I still do parties and I'm still out working this business without a car. I, you know, you can pick my brain, get into my messenger at any time to ask me about that. So, uh, but that's me in a nutshell. And I live in Virginia Beach, Virginia. And I and I do uh, I do drag uh, drag show hosting part time a uh, part time gig once in a while. <laughs> you should always find your passion and your love and have a hobby. Don't think that you only need to do pure romance. You need to get out, have fun, collaborate, and find other passions and bring it into your business. So uh, let's go ahead and kick off why and how and what inspired me to really go into subscription clubs this year. And there's a lot of different conversations about subscription clubs, but I just needed something consistent because my life is going through a lot of changes this year. I'm selling a house, my house that I've been in for 10 years. I sell it in two weeks and <laughs> buying, buying my farm. If anybody knows me, hello, hi, if you know me, I, I do. I grow peaches, pears, apples, and grapes in my front yard here in Virginia Beach, Virginia. And now I want to take it, um, and, and Taylor is a huge, huge inspiration. I'm going to have a beehive on my farm. Um, but we do, we, we move into that next month. Um, so with all of that change and all those things happening this year with, with everything at my house, I needed something consistent because I knew I wasn't going to be able to book and have so many parties this year, even online. I knew where my focus needed to be. So these subscription clubs, I jumped in just to cover my minimum. I told myself as a senior national director within Pure Romance, if I could cover my $4,000 minimum with just my subscription clubs this year, that, just just a breathe of fresh air. If I book a party or if I, you know, if I have to go, you know, <laughs> talk to a roof guy and, and find out the original 1969 roofs on my house. And I had to pay extra for that. Long story short, I, I, you know, had to get my mind right 
and I needed something consistent. So when all these other things in my life jumped in, you guys have 9,000 things going on too. You need to have that consistency, right? Some consistent sales, some consistent minimums being met. Some months, the subscription clubs would only cover so much, you know? And so in the beginning, you may get a couple of people signed up, maybe one or two people. Mine started in February and I had a handful, just five people sign up in February. And I call them my OGs, you know, cause they've been with me since the beginning. And I offered to everyone a mild or wild version of a subscription club, okay? One that's mild is called Makuchi Club. I'm not creative. Sorry if you came here for that. <laughs> Y'all could probably come up with a better name. Definitely something better for your mile. But I just call it the Coochie Club. People love it. And I'll talk about it. And I don't send Coochie every month, but I'm going to talk about it. Then I've got the Lingerie Club, which is kind of like my wild version of my monthly subscription box. Okay. So you're going to have different people that gravitate towards different ones. And each month, you're going to have a few new people join, right? And that's where I'm going to say my first tip. It's right here up top of my notes. Don't give up once you start. If you've got one, you're good. You've got a subscription club member. Treat her like gold, okay? And if that one can help you by having one of her friends join your subscription club. Maybe you toss her an extra thing in her, in her, you know, package this month. I offer so much to my subscription club gals. I'll get into that in a moment, but if you got one, <laughs> even one girl interested, stick with her now. Um, so don't give up. That's my first tip because it eventually will cover your minimum. If you're a senior consultant and you're looking at that 1500, let's say your subscription club boxes covered 500 of that. And wouldn't you breathe a little bit easier? And then after a couple of months, you know, it gets up to a thousand dollars in sales. Again, you're able to breathe easier. So I'm looking around the room, shake your head. If you've even tried, like you've tried subscription clubs before you got maybe one chick and then maybe you did it for a couple of months and then all of a sudden it kind of floundered. Anybody else? I'm looking around. That was me from 18, 19 to 20. Okay. I just, I kept picking a few people up. I do it for a few months. And then I myself was bad <laughs> at follow-up too. What I'm going to show you guys is exactly, and I, and I had to black out like, you know, certain people's information, like their name, their address, their phone number. So you're going to see that on my, my Google form. I am a Google Drive whore. Anybody else? Anybody? Who's here with me? Who knows what I'm talking about? Oh my gosh. There's a lot of different ways that you can organize yourself. Uh, me personally, in 2019, somebody introduced me to Google Drive. In 2020, I finally figured it out. I walked and I paced my house crying. I can bring my husband in to prove it. He was like, she was beating herself up. She would figure something out and then mess it up. And then you're going to just, you know, Google Drive is not as complicated, but I'm not here to teach you Google Drive. Okay. Google Drive is something I literally had to jump in and just start clicking around. But what I did do is in the post for the Lilies and the Buzz Babes, I put my links right back to my Google Drive forms that I use when people sign up for my subscription clubs. So you guys want to copy and paste some of those questions, go ahead. I tell the Lilies all the time, put your damn name on it, go make it yours and go make some sales, my love. Everybody got bills. Everybody got bills. So go. Now, the first club that I started was the Lingerie Club. Not the Coochie Club. I didn't even bring the Coochie Club until like April because I was just so inspired to start the Lingerie Club. And I love, love, love that Leanne Rhodes, for example, she was big inspiration behind that. She started one and I watched her for a bit and it inspired me to keep going too. But it was also the people that signed up for the club because they were, they were definitely supporting what I wanted to do. So make it part of your conversation. If you're wondering how Lawanda continues to be, have people sign up for her clubs every month, I have at least a handful of new people, right? It continues to grow. I don't got hundreds of people on this club, you guys. Do I want a hundred? Of course I do. That's why I'm, I'm making it part of every conversation I have. For example, I had a party last night. 
okay it was my first hotel party and you know since everything and i was nervous but here i am with my luggage rack like come on carry my shit it was great um <laughs> who knows what i'm talking about at the end of every order I, I asked her about, you know, keeping the party going so we can host her party and, and, you know, her friends at her house or her hotel room, wherever she needed it next. I asked her about doing uh, a little bit of part-time work with me. You know, the, the average questions we all ask at the end, right? Well, why not bring in the fact that, hey, would you like to join my monthly subscription club? Just want to make a note here. If you'd like to join that, I can follow up and let you know about the mild and wild ones I offer. Boom. That's what I do. I put it a part of my conversation. It's part of my closing wrap up with my orders. Even when I'm online, like I'm doing this kickstart challenge this month, people are still buying kickstart from me this month so they can join in. And at the end of those, I'm like, Hey, you want to hear about my mild and wild lingerie and coochie club subscription packages? I can give you the link and you can sign up. I actually send out an email every week and people think I'm nuts, but I've been doing that for a while, a couple of years now, kind of like bed, bath and beyond but I think you get their shit like three times a week. Anywho, long story short, you get one email from me a week for a month. Okay. It's the end. Of, it's usually on a Sunday night, like tonight, I, I get it all scheduled out for my peeps. Okay. Not, not here to teach y'all that, but in that email that goes out, it's just basic. It's like, I'm sitting here with Dean in the backyard. We're hanging out with the camp, whatever I'm doing. I'll bring up what's going on that week. Kind of like what Chris does with us with an update with rise and grind. So I tell my people, Hey, you know, I've got my, my monthly birthday party club coming up this week, or, hey, I've got my flash sale next month. Well, you're, you're updating them. Well, at the end of all my emails, I say, and don't forget, you can join one of my subscription clubs. I got a mild or wild. Here's the links. Check them out. It's just part of my conversation now, you guys. So that's the first thing I'm going to mention. Make it part of your conversation. You didn't have but one or two people sign up, and you're wondering where everybody else is at. You just haven't told them enough. And you got to tell them like seven times for them to actually hear you. Who's ever heard of that before? Okay. You got to keep taking, and you're serving them. You're not bugging them. I'm not bugging people once a week. I am sending you an email. You got a choice to open that mother up and read it. Okay. But I got to serve. If I don't serve my people, who will? Who will? You don't want nobody else to. Hello. It's easier to keep a customer here at Pure Romance than to always try to find one. Can I get an amen? Yes, you can find them. People get excited. But if you got a, like I'm old school, 2009 Rolo decks. Okay. My customer list is the most powerful piece to my business. Not my Facebook group. <clears throat> that shit's been closed down multiple times. I'm good. I don't rely on the, it, the Instagrams and I do TikTok for shits and giggles. It is my Rolo decks. You guys, my email list, my text list. And, and when I do, when I text my birthday girls and I'm hooking them up with deals and stuff, when we're done talking and she's like, no, I'm good. No, I'm good. I'd be like, well, just don't forget subscription club. You got options with me every month. Something fun. You guys just make it part of your conversation and it will become second nature. Now, um, I do suggest promoting it on Facebook. <laughs> I do that at least, you know, once a week. I'll, I'll have it scheduled. I put some images up um, in, in the, the team groups here. Y'all can use some of those images. I got I got permissions. OK, uh, and if you need more, let us know. But Use real people to help you inspire other real people to wear lingerie, okay? And let me get a raise of the hands up in here. Who wears lingerie in here? Mm -hmm. Thank you. It was so hard for me. Oh, my, to sell lingerie. That's why 2018 and 2019 were kind of like, you know, hit or miss with my lingerie club and my, you know, because I wasn't wearing it. I wasn't inspired. It's it's kind of like it's kind of like our, our our other products, our other our other items. You don't shave with coochie. You haven't tried body do. You haven't put some old cream on. You have no idea what just like me is gonna do to you. It's just like lingerie. If you're not wearing it, if you're not embracing your body with it, it's kind of hard to inspire others to wear it and be embraced by it, right? So that's something else I did this year. Is uh, you know, well, it started in 2020. Started wearing it a little more often. <laughs> started you know asking my lover to take a picture of me in it so I could see me in it. Okay. Then I sent my picture to a few friends and they were like, damn girl. And then I said to a few teammates, they're like, damn girl, you will feel on top of the world when you get inspired by your own self in lingerie, as well as inspire others. Now, as far as having that promotion each week that, like I said, mine's in an email. I do it on Facebook. 
And then when I'm talking to my birthday girls over text, that's, that's, you know, very common, very consistent every month. Okay. Now each month I do a different theme for my clubs. Okay. My subscription clubs like this month was watermelon themed and y'all are going to laugh at my ass, but I go to, to the ends of the earth to find everything watermelon. Okay. I got this 36 pack of watermelon airheads on Amazon for $9. Mm -hmm. And I was able to put one of those plus, plus it was a whole like everything was watermelon. Even the little like envelopes I sent them in were water. I mean, it's like, oh my goodness, you can, you can literally pick a theme. I, I did for August was unicorn themed. I got some unicorn stuff. I got the unicorn napkins off of Amazon and wrapped the lingerie in it, you guys. That's all I'm doing. It doesn't cost a lot. And then whatever extra supplies I got, I'll put it in, you know, a, a, my, my seasonal box. <laughs> and that way I can use it again. I did pineapples one month. Oh, goodness. I did Superwoman another month. You, hello. There's so many months and so many things you can do. There's 12. There's 12 months in a year, 12 things, honestly. If you could sit there and pick 12 things and then have that a part of, um, oh, I did an Alice in Wonderland themed once. That was fun. Okay. Anywho, you guys, these can be fun. And you're like, I used to, like in the past, I get so bogged down. I'd be like, oh my God, here, I got to do subscription clubs. It was because I wasn't making it fun for myself. I was making it a chore. I wasn't looking forward to it. You know, I, but now I literally sit down, I put all the materials in front of me, I crank up some music. If you wanna pour yourself a glass of wine, whatever you wanna do, and then enjoy putting those subscriptions and put a little love into each one. So not only, let me look at my notes, not only do I do a theme each month, but I also do um, something motivational, sometimes a coloring page, something relaxing, something I can buy in bulk, like a coloring page book for like $5 from Walmart. And it lasts me a couple of months. Okay. So think about that. Or if you are an Amazon whore like myself, okay, you can go look at party favors on Amazon, get the book, you know, simple stuff too. People love that. I, I did um, back in the spring um, when I did, uh, oh my goodness, it was really just all about growth. And I did all kinds of seeds and it was like flower seeds. It was, it was fruit seeds, vegetable seeds. And this one chick, she was like, oh my God, I haven't, I haven't planted seeds in years, Luanda. <laughs> Thank you so much for putting these seeds. And I went to the dollar store and got like a whole bunch of those packets. So really it's, it's not a certain box. I saw that question come up. It is literally a bubble wrap six by nine package. I use pirateship.com. Somebody type that in that chat box. I have a scale here at the house, bought it on Amazon. Again, Amazon hoard, Google drive hoard. What's up? And weigh them usually with a little bit of this, a little bit of that. They never weigh more than five or six pounds a piece in my area, three to $4. And then I'm just shipping them off you guys. So, um, but you can, I'm going to go ahead and start screen sharing in a second, but you can use any kind of box, but I just call it a subscription package. I never really called it a subscription box because I didn't want to like, you know, like, like if I was like, what's the box? Dude, it's just a package. Um, all kinds of, but I do, I love, I love what I did for the girls this month. Uh, so going back to the notes inside of the coochie and lingerie packages, let me just go, let me go back to coochie. For example, it's not always coochie on my Google drive form next to her name. I'll put what scent of coochie I send off to her that month. Okay. So I have a column for that right by her name but with all of her information. That's what I love about Google drive. It creates the spreadsheet for you. And also I sent her a bottle of body do. I'll, I'll focus on one first. I, I sent her a bottle of aftershave mist. And then I sent her another bottle of coochie. Okay. So like, think about that each month for Coochie club members, send them something that goes well together with Coochie and nobody's mad. <laughs> nobody's complained about the stuff they get from me. Um, and then the lingerie club, of course, we've got so much wonderful seasonal lingerie that comes out from, from Aaron and from pure romance. Right. And you can get them at such good prices, but let's say one month, you can't get lingerie. Think outside the box. I had to because 
I wanted to send something else. I sent um, blindfold. We had that uh, tape, the tie me up tape uh, for seasonally a little bit. I did that, the pasties, the nipple pasties. It was like a a little bundle deal because they can still wear all that. They can still wear the pasties, the tape, the blindfold. And then I used, remember the small, uh, you know, the massage oil droppers that were a little bit, you know, on the, look at that sale page, put them together, something fun to wear. <laughs> Ain't nobody mad. I actually got a lot of great feedback from ladies after that package. So, and then of course I go right back into it. I, I make sure everybody's got to woke up like this because hello, you need that. Right. And then I did one month, I paired uh, together the body stocking, the sheer body stocking with, uh, we had those golden black masks. Um, you, you, and then throw a bunch of samples in when you can, or at least one sample in that package of something that's not in that package, okay? So if you're putting sensations in there or if you're putting whipped or something that is completely different and always, I always put a note on it that they will not, well, you won't pay full price for this if you want a full bottle, okay? Always, always do that. And then also inside of the you know package, you can put love notes, put coupons. I have, um, I don't have any in front of me, damn, but it's called Wanda Cash and it's like a bit emoji of my face and it's $5. If you want to throw one or two of those in depending on like who you, who you're sitting off to or who's, who's part of that club that month. You can really spoil these girls and make them feel special. Um, and I always write a little love note to them. So, and right now, actually, I know it sounds crazy, but um, I'm, I'm designing t-shirts for like an end of the year gift for the ladies that have been in my subscription clubs all year with me. I'm designing like coochie club or lingerie club <laughs> t-shirts uh, to give them at the end of the year. That's just my choice though. Okay. Don't, I'm just putting out what you know, I'm sitting here thinking about, um, cause like I said, it's my first full year doing this, but now I have enough individuals that are in the subscription clubs where it's covering my senior director minimum. So, and if, if it works, you keep working it and you keep talking about it. So, uh, what I'll do now is I'm going to go look at the chat box to see if there's any certain questions I may have missed. And then I'm going to jump over to my actual club form and show you guys what I'm asking, what I'm talking to them about. And then I'm going to show you a couple of responses. Like I said, it's not going to be, you know, like all their information. You'll see some stuff blacked out. Uh, but go ahead and use that chat box while I know we're still recording, but you can ask me questions about this. I'm trying to stick to my notes and I, and I did finish my notes. I'm, I'm proud of myself. Just proud of myself. Uh, looking over any other thoughts that you guys have, throw some ideas in the chat box of what you would put in your subscription boxes as well, or your packages. Remember, I don't use a box. I use a themed package. So let me get my screen sharing started. And I'll probably screen share the Coochie Club first, if it'll work for me. All right. Do, 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 do. All right, you guys should be able to see my screen. Yay, I hope you can. Yay, thank you, Penny. All right, so we have the Coochie Shave Club right here. Super simple. And like I said, I actually put these links up on the Buzz Babes and the Lusty Lily so you guys can click and look if I go too fast here and now. But I asked them, just go ahead and fill this out. You can stop and start anytime I give them that permission. But you know what? Nobody stopped yet. Nobody stopped yet. And you can, with, within your members, rem, you can, you can actually ask them if they find you. Like I did this over a couple months ago, but I asked my members, if you have at least three people fill this out and become a coochie club or a lingerie club member, I'll give you a free month. Girl, you guys, that really bumped up my subscriptions because I had three new people and I give that one chick a free, just one single free month. I mean, come on, that that's, that's a no brainer, right? So again, I'm gonna scroll through this. I asked them the basic information. Uh, and then, and then I asked them a couple of personal stuff. I mean, come on, I'm about to help them, you know, get into some intimate wear and I'm going to help them kind of, cause I do, I surprise them every month with something that they kind of already wanted. So I asked them about what part 
of the body do you you know actually shave and in the lingerie one you're going to see i actually ask them what part they want to cover up or what part they want to you know, they're, they're a little self-conscious about what part of your body do you usually moisturize each day what is your oh the t-shirt size because we're doing t-shirts uh what are your favorite colors um i do that to help me with themes and to help me kind of customize their package for them um so here's the monthly coochie shave club membership cost i do 25 a month um or 45 a month but it includes another mystery bath product because some girls like a little extra you should remember to serve both women who do want just the basic and then the girls that like to add extras because there are there are some ladies out there that like to be extra so preferred method of payment um i do ask them to please let me know by a certain time frame and they have to agree they understand that if they don't want and they want to say no that month they should let me know um do 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 i throw some flirt scents up here you know i you know that's out of date i got flirt up here honey and gold there's some out of date ones but most definitely if i've got it in stock because i do have some stock in myself some extras uh let's see let's see address of course communicate any other needs i ask them about allergies that's such an important piece because if they had a lavender allergy, you do not send them anything lavender scented friends. Uh, birthday, of course, because I want to, you know, add them to my contact list and my birthday club. Um, do, 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 do. In home parties, why not? You should always ask. Keep scrolling, keep scrolling. Oh, would you like information? I do this on all my forms, by the way, when they shop with me, um, all the subscription clubs. Um, and then I ended it with any QA. And I put, I always put a picture of myself at the end of my forms. It's, and if you're wondering how you do that, you're in your form and you just click that image next to the question and you click that and you can add an image. Boom. Right. Uh, let's jump over to the lingerie club. It's very similar, but again, monthly lingerie club, you can stop and start any time. It's the same time frame. They need to let me know no later than the, you know, the first. I run their card. If I don't have their card, I shoot them a request on Venmo or I shoot them a request on Square, you guys. Square will save their card for you. I don't save it, it's all in Square. It's an option they have to save it. Uh, again, name first, last, uh, scrolling down. Oh yeah, Jess, I just saw that. <laughs> adding, a, adding a picture. I, I love I love this, yeah, okay. So come on down. Uh, were you referred by a friend? I put that in the lingerie club. Um, I should have that in the coochie one, right? But I just, I've had the lingerie club for so much longer. Uh, what part of the body do you try to cover up when you're wearing lingerie? I love this question because then you'll have people saying they've never worn lingerie, okay? And they can click more than one. Yeah, I give that option here. Uh, pant size to help me go from either a one size or to a queen size, for example. That helps me make sure. And I it, just in general, we know we can help that gal we want to go up a size if she's if she needs it you can communicate with her i communicate very much with each of these gals they don't just sign up and, and it's like you know good luck no no lawanda reaches out and we communicate and we confirm so pan size bra size what are your favorite colors uh and then here's your monthly lingerie club options uh 39 a month total charge is and it's shipping and hand you know tax uh total charge is 45 dollars a month so if you have enough <laughs> and if you are in that you know situation that month well maybe you know you have parties and other things going on you could take that full 45 go in buy her lingerie and maybe buy something else to go in your stock you know really you can use that to your advantage to hit some good retail numbers or again get on the sale page because half the time when our seasonal lingerie comes out like that it's only what 19 maybe 20 depending on the sale that day you guys so you can get one or two pieces each person could potentially purchase two pieces of lingerie for your club uh moving forward does all this make sense so far i hope so okay what happens if they get it and it doesn't fit uh taylor i have not had that problem so far everyone um, that has received something from me we we've, we've communicated especially if it's seasonal and it's like one size to queen size and she has the bust for it we go for the queen size um but uh yeah i haven't had any problems with people not fitting into stuff yet i got the bra size the pants size i communicate with them especially like that um i don't have it up behind me i'm pointing like i do the orange mesh 
really fun with garters and crotchless panty that came out. What was that, August or July? Uh, that was just a queen size to a one size. And I always buy myself one. <laughs> and that helps with me kind of getting a good feel as well. That neon one, yes, Miss Taylor. Uh, that was uh, the only one that uh, I felt like the one size was huge on people. But again, nobody was, nobody's complaint. Nobody's complaint. Um, do, do, do. So monthly lingerie membership options, contact if needed, preferred method. Again, let me know before 5 p.m., confirm their address, communicate any specific shipping needs. That's a big deal. Allergies, birthday. Here I am asking the same stuff, you guys. Consistency is real. Uh, about joining the team, booking a party, getting into one of our groups. Oh, and then on here, I do ask if they want to join the Coochie Club. Because if they join the Coochie Club, I'll give them a bundle deal. Because I've got girls that are in both lingerie and Coochie Club. And I charge them quite many. Oh, Natasha. <laughs> she did the thing that Lilies do that to me sometimes. And they, <laughs> a squirrel. Okay, again, picture at the end. There we go. So let me, I brought up a few gals and their information. So see how this works. They, they tell me what part of their body would they like to cover up. So they're telling me like stomach, hips, they give me their sizes right here. That really helps me determine what size they need. And I do communicate with them. I tell them, Hey, I'm sending you a large this month in this one, or I'm sending you, you know, so they put their size here and we move forward in the best way possible. No complaints so far. Again, what are your, some of your favorite colors? And then contact me, please, if she's got more questions. She's ready to pay. They're ready to pay. Uh, they understand. They need to let me know if I'm not charging. Oh, shit. There's their addresses. Don't look at that. <laughs> Allergies. They'll tell you about floral scents. So if they tell you about floral scents, then you don't want, you do not want, um, you know, to put a lot of flirt or a lot of other scents. So um let's see do, do, do. thank you thank you and then here's like my notes you know what i'm saying so i keep notes on what i send out to them so the may was when i did like the pasties and the tape and, all. and i keep it pretty consistent like i send everything out to everyone and it gives them it gets them talking on my actual you know vip group too it'll get them talking about oh girl how'd you like that one or how do you feel about that one or i put this one on i just got this out of the drawer they get so excited talking about each other about what they got too so let me stop the screen share okay so again google drive oh i didn't show that part hold on when you have your lingerie club and you go to like people start responding you click this green button of awesomeness and it creates your entire spreadsheet with all their responses, their name, their address. Boom, when you start communicating and confirming their subscription with, the, with their information in the spreadsheet, it's, it's all there for them. So again, when you start your, your actual survey, come here and just hit that green button. It's so good. All right, stop screen share. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so, oh goodness, I hope I hit everything. I'm trying to hit everything, all my notes and things. But uh, in the long run, if you keep, keep advertising something like this and keep yourself in the pieces as well, like don't just, you know, don't just buy it, you know, get, the, get them all a piece. You gotta get yourself a piece because then you can have that conversation. I love to catch up with them. So I send everything off by the sixth of the month. Now the Labor Day holiday this month, I didn't get stuff out to like the seventh or eighth, but again, I do pirate ship. I send them a tracking number. And as soon as I see them get their goods, I say, don't forget, you need to open, you know, your pineapples or your watermelons this weekend. Don't forget, because you guys, you know that even when they leave our parties, they don't, they don't use their stuff. And this stuff is monthly. So you want to make sure they open it up. So I like to let them know, hey, I just opened mine. Oh, I just put mine. How you feeling in yours? And then I give them some tips. Like, I don't know if anybody knew this, and I'm totally recording this, this total vulnerable moment, but that orange mesh piece neon that I already brought up you know that is the number one piece for single ladies or not single ladies to masturbate in because the nips poke through the mesh and give you that tight little pinch almost grabbing on feeling mm -mm -mm. i tell you what if you haven't put that orange piece on and it's sitting in your stock and you haven't sold it yet you better keep it for your damn self 
go masturbate in it. It is so much fun. Yes, I did go there. But those are the kind of conversations I'm having with my lingerie club gals. Okay. And the few gals I've got over here on the, you know, coachy club, I like to follow up with them. And I do plan to send them Coco Glow, <laughs> you know, come the, the winter season. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm going to get them hooked on that. So you guys, that's a conversation piece that you can have with them. And especially with women that have never, you know, you know, had a friend use coochie. She in herself and her right self is going to be like, girl, every month I get a bottle, I get something new. If you need a bottle, let me know. You can tell her, hey, this can be a gift. You can gift a coochie club membership to a friend. So I've had girls do that too, where they go in, they fill it out for their friend. <laughs> and then they actually pay for it for their friend to get a bottle that month or a piece of lingerie that month. So think, think about it. Keep your mind kind of open to all the possibilities. My goal is to have completely a hundred people, coochie and lingerie club combined. Right now I am sitting at 37 and I'm not mad at that. Anybody else? Nobody's mad. Everybody's like, you have hundreds of people on your club stuff. I don't. I feel like every month I get a couple more. I find a couple more people. So couple, I had a husband sign up for his wife the other day. I was like, oh, this is what we're talking about. Let's go. Okay. It's something you keep talking about it. And when you stop, it, like I said, I stopped 2018, 2019, 2020. I was playing around with a subscription idea. Ugh, and I wish, and I prayed, I would have just kept going because it's when I stopped talking about it, people stopped signing up for it. I started to feel like my, my club was not that good. I wasn't doing well. Oh my goodness, let me stop because it's not working out. Ugh. My God, I, I was I'm mad at myself. <laughs> 2021 hit and I was like, no more. I, am, I have got to get this under wraps. And again, Google Drive, I give a lot of credit to that bad boy because that's where I take my notes. That's how I keep up with stuff. That's why I pull up every month uh, to not only get my pirate ship fixed and get my girls their goodies, but it's just so organized and that's what I'm not. <laughs> and that thing keeps me organized. Um, and then of course, just, you know, oh, using your members to find members, okay? If you've only got one, she can find your one. All right, so um, I think I've covered all the goods. It's 7.43 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm gonna go ahead and kill the recording and, and take a few more, uh, definitely some questions I see popping up. Real quick question. Do you post that in a VIP or may, both? <laughs> post it everywhere. I don't give up. I let men know. I let females know. I'm, I, my contact list knows. My birthday girls know. My emails once a week know. Everybody knows. People I was at a party with last night that I just met in the shopping room wrapping shit up. I'm sending them my links because now they know. Will they sign up? I don't know, but I'm still going to let them know because that's what I'm here to do. I'm here to serve. So, um, let me see. Let me see. Love if you offer a discount. I'm just checking any more questions, but recording. I want it short. I want it sweet. I want you guys to replay it. I want you to share it with other team members and I want them to become inspired to get organized and to get started with either one or two because it will grow and it will cover your minimum. Like I said, I have 37 members total and it covers my $4,000 minimum because I'm always grabbing on to more products, right? Or I'll book an extra party and toss that into my order. So it is covering you guys that minimum for a senior national director. I know who else wants a couple thousand in consistent sales every single month. And if you're curious, you're like, I, I haven't gotten them yet. Go try again. Believe me, it took me years to figure this shit out for myself. And I gave up too many times. And I'm so glad in 2021, I just, I went in it to win it, put my blinders on. And I said, I don't care what anybody else is doing. I'm going to figure this out for myself. And I'm going to tell everybody about it once I figure it out. <laughs> so uh, if you need help with any other things, like I said, that I've been talking about, jump into my inbox. Taylor, I, I am so glad that you were able to, you know, get this in and help me uh, teach about, it's my first time teaching about my subscription clubs, you guys. So uh, thank you guys for letting me do this. But again, killing the recording so we can open up for Q&A. But thank you. Thank you all for being here. Don't yuck anybody's yum. Happy orgasm to all and to all a good night. I'm going to kill the recording. Bye. <laughs> all right. I